Good morning, everybody. Now, yesterday I posted this subject on TikTok. Today it's YouTube's turn. Okay, right. Well, um, I'm going to be talking. I've, I've made a video on this before, but after watching the numerous videos on this subject, I find it somewhat entertaining from the ringside seat here in the UK. What am I talking about? I'm talking about the phenomena that's going on in America the passport bros now it's not really a new thing because men has been traveling abroad for brides or partners for a long time but it's just this new batch of travelers afro-americans uh they're they're the new kid on the block so you know black men or afro afro-americans are the new kid on the block in terms of the passport bros okay and um okay before i start before i start caveat in no way shape or form am i criticizing the passport bros not at all because there actually there's a few things that is parallel with some of the videos i've made in the past which i'll touch on i'll, I'll come to that in a minute okay but so <clears throat> as you hear by my accent if you're not from the uk I'm, I'm from the UK, Londoner, born and raised. I've got a London accent. Uh, some people say I'm well-spoken, maybe because I'm from West London and not from East London, mate. Yeah, brown bird over there, she's gagging for a give her one. Like, that's the difference between um, the East London and West London, how I speak now. You see what I'm saying, right? Or if you're from Essex. Essex, shut up, mate. You know what I mean? Geezer, right? Um... They kind of, they got that dialogue over in Essex and parts of Kent. Like they, they got that estuary accent, like, whereas uh, in London, um, oh God, I'm, I'm not even going there, but London's got a, a, a load of different accents, especially with the urban kids. How they say, I can't do the, the, the urban accent. Like, um, I swear down low, I can't, I can't, I can't actually do the accent. But anyway, so. <laughs> I'm drifting off. I'm drifting off. So back on point. Back on topic. Back on topic. So the difference between the UK and America and myself and the passport bros. Why I never really needed to travel abroad to get a girlfriend, a partner. Right. Okay. All right. First of all, let's talk about my age. Right. I'm a lot older than. Most, if not all, the passport bros I've seen on YouTube. I'm gonna this August. I'm gonna be 60 years old. So therefore, when I was a young man, the world was very different to how it is now. With social media didn't even exist. So by the time I was transitioning out of being a young man, say let's say my early 30s, and coming in, going into sort of middle age zone. In terms of mobile phones, it was in its infancy, even though the general public here in the UK had access to mobile phones. Um, it, 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 previous to that period, it was mostly business people that had mobile phones. So by the time we, we got to the mid 90s, that's when the general public started to have mobile phones, but it was still in its infancy. It didn't really sort of take off to anywhere sort of big to the very late 90s, early 2000s. That's when mobile phones really sort of took off. Okay, so hence why my experience with social media is going to be completely different to you guys. Okay, so that's that. Okay, now we talk about the UK and America. Even though we speak the same language, but there's some differences in our culture. Here in the UK, most people have passports. Most people here in the UK have traveled abroad. If you get to the age, definitely to your early 20s, and you haven't been abroad or you don't have a passport, people find it odd, they find it strange. They'll probably wonder if, have you spent time in prison? Because it's so unusual for someone not to have traveled or not to have a passport here in the UK. Whereas I've traveled to America numerous times, and I noticed that most people, they either haven't been outside of America or they do not have passports. I could um, I could understand why, because America has so much stuff in it, they don't need to travel out of America, which is kind of victim of their own success with that, because 
it makes them, when I use the word ignorant, I mean uninformed. That's what I mean when I say ignorant. They're ignorant of the world. Even when I go to America, when I look at the news, it only covers events that's happened in America. Whereas here in the UK, when we watch the news, we're getting news what's happening around the world. Not all around the world, but we get news about things that happened outside of the UK. Right, so we're not as insular as the average American. And that's this is not an insult, I'm just stating a fact. So that's the difference in terms of America and the UK. Now I'm gonna go further. I'm gonna go even I'm gonna go even tighter. Now uh another advantage I have is I'm a Londoner. London and many the, the, the London and a lot of cities in, in, in America so so different so so London is so diverse it, it really it, it's a global city um it really is uh on my TikTok video I gave um an example of the communities that lived around that lives around London I'm not going to bother do that today I don't want to make this video too long but basically it's the di diverse city right so I've I've been involved with women from various parts of the world and the one thing they all have in common is I've met them here I didn't have to travel abroad I met them here so basically access to women who either are from abroad or who originate from countries abroad it's really easy access here in London there's a saying there's a saying um about people who's who foreigners if when they travel to um the uk this the saying goes if you've been to london you haven't been to england that's the difference between see because if you're outside of london if you especially if you're in the shires or um like if you're if you're in a small town outside london it's very different to london it's not as diverse so you're especially if you're really far out your choices of meeting people from around the world is a very, very limited. You, you're kind of like, you're kind of like in the same situation as a lot of bros are in America. So, for example, um, some of the cities in America, if I use a the word black, quote unquote black, Afro or African, okay, um, the uh, a black neighborhood. In America and a quote-unquote black neighborhood in the UK are so so different a black neighborhood in the UK is still really diverse compared to a black neighborhood in America it really is if I if let me think if I went to Peckham in South London or Tottenham in North London known as a black black neighborhood and I stood on the high street or um, I don't know what their equivalent is a high street in America I don't know, the main road, the main, the main boulevard. And I stood there for 10 seconds in Tottenham or Peckham or Halsden. And within 10 seconds, a white person would go past me. An Asian, as in India, Pakistan, would go past me. And traditional Asian, a variety of people would still walk past me if I stood there for 10 seconds. Whereas... If I went, when, like, say, for example, like Crown Heights in New York, if I stood there for 10 seconds, I may as well be in my pilot, uh, my parents' island of Grenada in the Caribbean. Um, yeah, Grenada still have white people, but in terms of the time I'll have to wait to see a white person walk past me, it's the same as being in the island of Grenada. It's just, it's, it's like spot the white man, spot anyone, spot any other man apart from a, a black man. So that's the difference. So access to different types of women in America is very different to access to different types of women here in London. Right. So th that's a, a, a major, major difference. Hence why there isn't really a passport bro movement here in the UK because you don't really need to have one because if you're into Middle Eastern women, you, you, you will come across one. If you're into Mediterranean women, you'll come across one. The, the, the world is more or less here. 
You know, I, there's already I want to talk about. This is now a, a, a bit of a parallel in terms of passport bros talking about being treated better from women abroad when they do travel abroad. Here's a parallel and an irony. Since my teenage years, I've said this numerous times, numerous times in, in other videos. Since my teenage years, I have received a warmer welcome from women outside my race, quote unquote, than I have from my own race. And here's the irony. The warmest welcome I have received from the females are from women who, who hail from countries that has a reputation of being racist towards black people. Spain, Italy, Poland. And I've had the warmest welcome from that sort of woman. I'm not saying I haven't had warm welcome from black women. Of course, I wouldn't have dated the few that I have dated. But if I had to line up the numbers, the, it's overwhelmingly outside of my race, you know. And um, yeah, so that's, that's, that's a parallel. Now, come back to another parallel with uh, what I hear the passport bros talk about in terms of uh, the choices they have in America. And um, now, I don't know. I don't know how much of a represent representation this is of the American woman, but I'm only going by what I've seen on social media. Now, this this narrative of equating um, cooking and cleaning with slavery wow wow something so basic in terms of male and female like you know a, a traditional woman who 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 just seems to clean the house and cooks for the family that's slavery really really wow and um so it, this kind of uh, the parallel I'm coming with this now I've watched women being interviewed and then when they said oh well, I don't do 50 50 um uh, one woman said you know a man will have to take care of her and her kids and the, the woman interviewer said well guys will ask what you bring to the table and she said well I am the table I'm uh, I am the table I'm bringing myself right this this is a parallel with a video that I made about um uh the wow factor and I said, well, okay, let's say I became a millionaire next week or this time next year. Let's say my audio book takes off or I just win the Euro Millions. And, and, and now one of these women wants to be involved in my life. The question I've asked, and I still haven't had an answer to this question yet. Okay. What is the wow factor that I'm supposed to be getting from these typical women who says that they are the table. What is the wow factor I'm supposed to be getting? And like, for those who don't know, I've worked as a uh, as an entertainer in the past. I've, um, I'm an ex-pro dancer. I've led a very adventurous lifestyle. So if, if they're thinking that um, good pussy is the wow factor, man, <laughs> I've forgotten good pussy. I can, I've said this in, in other videos, I can go to my grave smiling. If I know I'm going to die tomorrow, I can, I'm, I'm happy with the fun I've had. I've, without sounding like a, a, a boasting ad, adolescent, um, I've seen more fun than most men will ever see in their lives. So good pussy ain't, ain't going to be no wow to me. So... Another thing is, well, I am not really, imp I don't need an arm trophy to impress total strangers because if my heart chooses you, you will be my stunner. You will be my 10 out of 10, regardless of what the world thinks of you. If, if, if I choose you to be my one and only, that, that oh, that's all I need. I don't need the validation of anybody else because I just care about me and you. So I, I don't need to impress complete strangers. I, I don't. It's not not big deal to me as such because they're not paying my bills, and it's it's us who's going to be getting up getting up to what we get up to in the bedroom. You know they're not going to be involved. So. Why should I give a fuck about their 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 opinions? So um, 
so, so whether you're a stunner or or what again that's that's perishable goods that's 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 only going to last for a while so you can't so you got to take that one off the list so in terms of the wow factor when you call yourself the table what are you blowing me away with if i had if i had the millions i could list the the, the wow that you're going to be getting i could list the, the 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 type of house you'll be living in the 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 car you'll be driving in the sort of holidays you'll be going on the sort of restaurants you'll be eating in the lifestyle you'll be living in i could list the wows but what are the wows you're gonna what's your list of wows for me and i suspect you have no wows so even if i had millions you've got nothing to fucking offer me that i can't get now as a as andrew tate would call me a brokey even now as a brokey what can you give me now that i can't get from angela who works down the road in the bakery so when you beat your chest say i am the table i am the table and and then you say you've got a, a kid in tow and and a guy supposed to take care of your kid and you class your soul and you class that as a as a good deal you class that as a fantastic deal and you beat your chest and say you don't cook and clean and that's supposed to be a good deal that's supposed to be enticing and you equate that to slavery i mean wow wow well wow. I, I i don't i i don't know what kind of men you've experienced like i mean gee all the girlfriends i've had you know, I, I don't even I don't even ask them to cook and clean. It, it, they they just do it, and sometimes I help them, but or or sometimes I just do it myself. You know, but um, it's not it's not like I come in. It's not like I I come in and say, bitch, you know, where's my dinner, bitch? Uh, where's the house all day? Then <laughs> then then I could understand, but I I really don't understand. Where you women are coming from with this slavery thing, with with something so basic and simple. So, with the passport bros, if that is what you got to deal with over there in America, I feel bad for you guys because from what I see on social media, and um, American women, if this does not apply to you, I'm not speaking to you, but I'm speaking about the American women I've seen as an example on social media a lot of you women on social media are just horrible women i mean when like fresh and fit podcast the things you come out with you are horrible women and fuck me i i don't know what kind of man would want to be with you why would a man want to be with you and and as far as you're concerned a man will want to be with you because you got a nice face and a wet vagina really wow anyway there we go um this video has gone on way longer than i expected but i mean how can i condense what i've got to say in such a in in a, in a shorter period of time there you go anyway folks well um what can i say uh here in the uk i'm enjoying the smoke as you americans say i have a ringside seat enjoying the back and forth and um so all I can say to the passport bros, the women who's receiving the passport bros, the women who's criticizing the passport bros, I want to thank you all for entertaining me here in the UK uh, on my ringside seat watching you all. Okay, thank you very much and have a fantastic day. Okay, bye. <laughs>